Hey guys, as you can see there's a lot of action in this video. So sit back and get ready for my best solo experience ever. Okay, I just spawned. Okay. Oh, no way. Hell yeah. Bow and arrows? Let's go. I'm fucking ready, bro. Is a pipe? And once? And again? Oh, I'm insane. Oh, I got crossy. Oh, you could me. Every good session starts with a bow and me running around trying to make plays. Who needs a base at the start anyways? What are you trying to protect? Your rock and torch? Oh, this guy's hurt. Oh my god, I'm so hurt. And sometimes, with just the right amount of luck and skill, good things happen. Ah, shit. I'm oh my god. This guy's a lot, what the hell? Okay. Oh yeah. After getting away with all the loot, I managed to get behind someone with a wolf headdress and a crossbow. And your boy loves crossbows. Hit him. Hit him again. Got him! Oh, nice. Crossy, bow. Oh, there's another guy over here. Hit him once. What? No! I bet that was the guy I just killed. No! I died, and of course, got sent right back to the beach. My time spent at the beach wouldn't end here, though. Let's just say, I got absolutely destroyed multiple times. Eventually, because of my patience, I was able to make the play that started it all. Oh my god, there's a fight going on here. Is he, if he pushes here. This guy has so much wood. This guy has so much wood. What the hell? No way. Oh my god. Oh, they're both dead. Dude, what do I do? This guy has so much wood. This guy, I heard a guy. Holy shit, bro. This guy has so much wood. It was my time to finally get a base down. I had something worth protecting and I was getting tired of waking up on the beach. I found a decayed base by train yard and called it home. Oh, this is looking, this is looking promising. This is looking promising, okay. Oh my God, 
this is so fucking risky. With my base down and my stuff safely secured, I went outside to get some scrap. Within seconds, I heard a fight. And let's just say my ADHD couldn't turn down an opportunity like that. Oh my god, this guy's dying. I'm gonna start pulling back. I'm gonna catch him while he pulls back. He's not pulling back. Why is he not pulling back, dude? This guy's insane. He got hit. This is a risky play, boy. I got the shit, boys. I got the shit. No, not this rock. I think this is his house because I heard him. Yes, yeah, this is his house. M92, thanks, man. Thanks, thank you. That was really nice of you. Bro, we made it! Holy shit! That's insane. After making it home with two guns, I was finally feeling like I was making progress. I headed to train yard to get some scrap to keep the snowball rolling. I didn't realize it at the time, but it was just the beginning, and Russ had a thing or two in store for me. Where's this guy landing? Can I landing? A mini copter was landing at train yard. I was doubtful that they were aware of my position. This was a good opportunity for me to catch them off guard. Okay. There's one right there. Is it just one? There's two. Okay, I'm a bit rusty. Four times, is he alive or dead? Oh no, I got him. Hell yeah. Do they have green and blue key card revolver? I had taken one of them out. I was doubtful that the teammate would try to contest me, so I decided to just let him go and continue losing trade nerd. I'm oh, sorry. Where's this guy? Where? Where? I didn't see him, bro. Oh, I thought I would be safe to fucking... And just like that, Rust had taken back one of my guns. Once I respawned, I heard a fight going on outside, and I was in need of some ego boosting if you catch my drift. Can I take these guys? like that, I was once again greeted with the beach. Since my bag was on timer at base, I thought it would just be a good idea to run home at this point. By the time I got close to home, it was dusk, and at this point, I was super paranoid. I had a feeling in my gut that something just wasn't right. It was too quiet. No way! No way, bro! 
Did that just happen? That just happened. Did that actually just happen? <gasps> what was his HP to start with? Something still wasn't right. Why was I able to kill this guy in two bow shots? I checked combat log to find out he was on 57 HP. I couldn't figure out for the life of me why a guy with meds sitting in his inventory would have 57 HP, especially when there were no fights going on in the area. No, bro! No, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? And that's when it finally hit me. The reason why this guy was 57 HP and I was able to kill him was because he was my neighbor and he had just left his base without medding. After I killed him, he knew exactly where I lived. He spent the entire night door camping me. This is his house. Fuck this kid. Oak was his name. It's his house, yeah. This is when I made it my mission to remove him from the server. Oh. You're dog shit, buddy. You're absolute dog shit. Okay, I may have been a little bit too salty. That's his house. I knew it, dude! He was door camping me the entire night. Never have I ever wanted to make someone's life a more living hell than this, th this time right now. So just like that, I had a goal. To raid my neighbor that door camped me for what felt like hours. The only issue was I had no explosives researched and only a tier 1 workbench. I would have to get really lucky if I was to find any explosives. So what did I do? I hit up train yard. And you know what that means. It's time for a farming montage. No way. I found that satchel at the perfect time. Luck was on my side. I quickly ran home and began to prepare. Level 2 workbench, let's go. Even though I had the satchel researched, I still lacked the final piece to the puzzle, a bean can. Without bean cans, I wasn't able to make the satchel. In an attempt to find a bean can, I wandered around almost aimlessly. Until... Was it Hazzy guy? Oh, he's getting on the horse. Please come towards me. Please come towards me. No. Where is he going? Yeah, that's his house. This guy's online. Hey, bro. Hey, buddy. Do you, uh, do you have a bean can researched by any chance? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, could I trade you something for it, by any chance? Sure. Well, what, what, what would you need? Uh, scraps down there. Okay, how, how much scrap would you like? A hundred, is that fair? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'll be back in a couple. I have to run to my base and get a hundred, but I'll, I'll come back. That was pretty lucky. This guy was actually willing to trade. I ran home as fast as I could to get the scrap. And now I just had to pray that he wouldn't kill me when I returned. Hey man, are you there? Hello? Alright, I came I came with the hundred scrap. Thanks so much, man. Yeah, take it easy. Hell yeah! I fucking got it. Now I just have to make it home. Yes, I made it home. Hell yeah. Literally seconds after I got home, I heard a satchel raid going on. That is a satchel being thrown in the middle of the night. Really close to me. That's absolutely terrifying. Should I go for this? It's a raid. Yeah, why not? Maybe I can make something happen. I'm gonna go for it. Where's the satchel right though? It was pitch black outside. I had a flashlight, but I couldn't use it. It would instantly give my position away. I also didn't have a pinpoint location as to where the raid was, so I was in the dark completely. Where's the satchel raid? Is it there? It's there. 
Yep, this is the right a two by one. I don't see anything. Okay, I'm right beside the house right now. I'm gonna flashlight and peek. Door? Can I make a door? Oh no! Oh man. I died, but it wasn't over yet. I knew that I had some time before this guy could craft a door and a lock. And luckily, I lived seconds away. back at the perfect time, right before he was able to place the lockdown. But it wasn't over yet. I was sure that whoever wanted to get inside the space before would be back, and be back with the fury. Another satchel. Uh, how many shells? What the? Oh my god! I don't know what to do. Oh my god! I, I I honestly don't know what to do. I'm I've I'm so lost. Oh my god! Are they coming to get me? Dude, is there any charcoal anywhere in here? Oh, they're coming, aren't they? Having successfully defended against that raid, I had some time to think, but I wasn't yet in the clear. I had to get all of this loot out of here and into my base, and that definitely wouldn't be easy. I knew that they wouldn't make it easy for me. They're just door camping me at this point. After trying to wipe them out, eventually an opportunity showed itself, and I took it. Down. Why did I do that? Why? This is dumb. Why am I doing this? Oh my god, I made it home. I made it home. No way. I made it home. Go, man. I made it home with everything. It took another trip, but I managed it. At this point, you can probably guess what I plan to do next. With all the sulfur I had acquired, I would blow Mr. Oak to another server. But Rust again would have something else planned for me. I was watching YouTube videos when I heard something going on outside. Oh 
Oh my god. 